I forgot I was drinking loose leaf tea. Welcome back friends to another weekly energy video. We're talking about the astrology of the forthcoming week ahead, um, which for today and this week that is April 10th through the 16th. I can't seem to be able to keep up with how fast time is moving. And that's okay. Maybe you feel similarly. There's a whole lot of transformation happening. We're leading up into um, eclipse season, uh, which is a deeply transformative time. The date of this recording is April 9th, Easter. <laughs> Talking about transformation. So what kind of transformation are we seeing this week? The moon starts in Sag, moves through Capricorn and, and Aquarius, and then next weekend, um, it, uh, starting the 15th, 16th is a uh, moon in Pisces weekend. E, we, with, with the moon in Sag, there's a lucky start to the week that over the course of the week gets intensified. Uh, the sun conjunct Jupiter, Venus moves into Gemini while also transiting Pluto at a trine aspect and Mercury square Lilith. All of this means uh, transformation in love and how we create harmony for ourselves uh, we want to talk about it. We want to talk about how what we feel is love energy and how we feel we come into harmony or balance uh, is something we want to talk about. Maybe we don't necessarily know how to talk about it, but that is transforming within us and we want to talk about it. Um, you want to seek relationships that meet your level of seriousness and depth. So yeah, deep feelings coming up this week. It is the last quarter in Capricorn, so it is a time to reevaluate balance and to build trust. So if there's any relationship, you know, we have the full moon in Libra, which is about relationships, but, you know, we can't exist without our relationships. So regardless of the time that it is, it is um, auspicious time to be having difficult conversations with people in your life or um, just bringing up you know, things that matter to you within the context of your support system and your relationships. Um, it's like a step towards freedom for you comes at the cost of assessing your relationships. Honestly, it's not selfish to set boundaries um, for access to your energy. Just remember to always be kind. The Aquarius moon, <laughs> yeah, right, aqua moon. Um, we have Aquarius moon at the same time Venus is square Saturn, so challenges in stepping into a role or stepping into an ability to make different choices when it comes to love and harmony and beauty in, in our lives. It's got to come, the choice has is, is got to be made differently. We talked about that last week, something about the awareness of being able to make a different choice. Okay, this week it's about, I think we're looking at love. Um, Venus is ruled by Libra. We had the Libra full moon. Okay, so... And we're like approaching Taurus season. So all of it matters. Um, all, of, all of it is matters as in like all of it is related and non-coincidental. Um, what else did I write here? Right, the aqua moon has, may have us feeling emotionally detached. And the Pisces weekend, Pisces moon weekend, dreaming about making a different choice, one that cultivates deeper connections over superficial ones. Oh man, I have this song for this week. How deep is your love? <laughs> but the, what I was, um, what I wrote was, how deep is your love for yourself? Start there. Start there. Sometimes I think we look at other relationships, like people outside of us, our relationships, our support system, and say, why can't this person give me the love that I want? The love that I think that I need, the validation that I want from this other person. Um... It's got to start with you. Like your what you put out into the world really starts with your own self practice. And so, on the topic of Venus and Libra world themes, it's self love. It's self love. Uh, here's a little bonus. I've been pulling um, self love edition cards for the We're Not Really Strangers. I like it. So I'm just gonna give you a prompt. When do I feel my best? What am I wearing? What am I doing? Create that day for yourself as soon as possible. As soon as possible. When do I feel my best? What am I wearing? What am I doing? Create that day for yourself as soon as possible. 
Yeah, because basically what you're doing for yourself is creating a transformative experience um, through visualization and embodiment. And you deserve that. You deserve that. Mm, okay, let's do a tarot reading. I like the length of that astro update. I would like to keep it there, but let me know what you guys think. Go ahead and like like this video. I know you guys are watching. Um, so I hear about it. And I want to let you know that it helps a lot to have your support if you do the platform things, the interactive things by liking the video and I guess subscribing if you're not already subscribed. Thank you. All right, we're doing my direction spread. My direction spread is available on my website. The link is below. Well, this is to reach anybody who may be watching, who needs a message about where they're going. My affirmation for this month is, I love where I'm going. Yep, it's I love where I'm going. And even though I don't know where I'm going most of the time. Or do I? I feel like sometimes I know, but other times I really, really don't know. And that's kind of the fun part. Mm-hmm. Okay. Who are we tapping into today? The star. An Aquarius. So either you're... Um, I'm connecting with an Aquarius who's watching, or you're embodying Aquarius energy, um, which is healing and hope. Do you have a lot of hope at this? Are you carrying hope within you? Are you carrying the like a star healing? You know, I love the star on this card. I have a necklace like that. That's where you think you are. Where are you really? King of Swords. In reverse. This is really feeling like that the message of um, the aqua, the Aquarius moon happening at the same time Venus square Saturn. You are going to be challenged with creating like this desire and intention to create deeper, more meaningful relationships, like showing up and just being more present, I think. And sometimes that's at the cost of setting boundaries with people who can't, who can't seem to match you at that level. Like you're thinking, I'm not getting what I thought I would out of this relationship. And so, I mean, that's a mirror. That's showing things for you what, what you should maybe develop yourself, right? And that's what's showing up here is... You may think you're healing something, but really you're putting up like a cold, hard boundary. And so just be aware of that. I'm not saying that is what is happening, but that's what's showing up in the cards, that they're, they're, if you are for inclusion and kindness and compassion at all costs, if that's the world you want to build, then just be aware of this tendency that sometimes when we're healing, we're actually creating some very strict boundaries around our healing which is sometimes necessary, but sometimes can be kind of cold and restrictive. So just think about where you are on that and what, how, how the transits of this week, the energy of this week could be playing out in your life. The greatest challenge you now face, justice in reverse. Libra again, fairness, justice. Um, I went to a, a, an event about it was a talk. It was a discussion about surviving cancel culture. I can't imagine um, the experience of like mass shaming, like public shaming. And I'm not here to condone yes or no. Do people deserve like condoning actions that may or may not get somebody canceled or humiliated or publicly humiliated or shamed. I'm just, you know, this is, this is like what's going on in my mind. I think this is going on for the collective as well. Who gives out justice? Who, who says that something is just or not? In some radical ways, like, um, and this is not my opinion, this is me sp exploring my mind as I think about these things based on what I've seen and read and what I'm 
studying, right? Accountability processes, Pol the police, like the judge, the jury. Who gives people the right to say something is fair or not, for, like for yourself or for the collective? Just think about that. These are these big questions that we're asking ourselves like, well, I need to take space from this person because it's gonna help me heal. Can you do that and still hold love and compassion for them even if there was harm done? Does that person deserve a redemption story? You know, maybe not in your book, but in their own. Do you know what I mean? These are like big, big society growth questions, like things that are, that are pushing us to evolve consciously that I think are really important. And I don't have the answers, but this is the energy that's coming. This is the transformative energy of the time. Because remember, we're here to take care of each other. Like we got us. There isn't, there isn't some <laughs> higher power even the government, society, you know, large societal structures, we know that they don't work for everybody and that we need to do our diligence as neighbors, as good people, as comrades, to do that when it's needed. Okay, so justice. This is the challenge you face. What's working? Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords in reverse. So it is actually uh, beneficial to be setting some boundaries here, absolutely. This is the survivor card. This is about um, we, something that is working on a collective level is that there is more attention and more awareness being put on um, the voices of people who have been marginalized, victimized, um, or victimized, have been victims. This is the survivor card, the Queen of Swords. Are we listening to what the, the experience of those people has been when we look at transformative justice? As in, are we listening to the accounts of those who have been mistreated, abused, etc.? This is intense reading, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I'm not. I mean, this is, I think this is showing us a lot. Then we have the... Spiritual lesson you now face is the moon. Uh, well, there's Cancer Pisces. This is about the deep subconscious. This is referring to um, the energy transit that we saw, that I talked about at the top of this video. Of uh, Something is coming to the surface. Something feels like you're, you're digging deep. Something is becoming revealed, more or less. The moon, I mean, the moon as a spiritual lesson is about like accepting that we have shadows and how do we move past that? And, uh, you know, shadows, um, unaddressed shadows or shadows that we're not aware of, like our blind spots of like where we cause harm to ourselves or others or self-sabotage and, and that if we're not keen on those things, they can cause harm. And then, so this is, the spiritual lesson is how do we learn to become aware of those things, the revelation of that, um, and then working with that and being like, I know I'm an imperfect person and there's nothing I can do about it. Well, that's not tr exactly true. But what I mean to say is, I know that I have these imperfect things within me and these tendencies and these things that, you know, my thoughts, my feelings, and how will I learn to live with them versus um, live and work with them versus like, wow, I'm having these thoughts and these feelings. I'm such a shitty person and no one will ever love me. You know, like the distinctions of how we're coming into this awareness. So that is the spiritual lesson of this, to overcome. Um, to overcome, okay. How to show up, page of swords. You see how we're going backwards? King of swords, queen of swords, page of swords showing up in this cube fashion, a cube as in, in the, within the square of the spread. It's all sword energy. Well, the moon is water, but it's all air energy otherwise. So ideas, the nervous system, our thoughts, our brain. And we are reverting, we're going backwards. So 
I think that's in, interesting to note that we like when we talk about dismantling, we're stepping back a little bit. And what did I say in my notes? Um, I covered it up, but it's something about like realizing that you, you got to take a few steps back before you can move forward. That's what's happening here. Also, I will say like work on your courage, work on your self confidence. Um, nurture your ideas. Um, there might be something here about a message coming in or, you know, because Page of Swords is sort of like the messenger too. Maybe you're the one who needs to send a message. Maybe you're the one who needs to communicate. Actually, we did talk about that. We do want to communicate, right? That was the energy of the week. Mm. Where are you going? Three of Cups. Celebration. Yeah. Celebration, being with like-minded people, and not even like-minded people, but what I'll say is like people who see and understand each other. Um, there's there's an authenticity to this of like, look at us, look at we've made it. That's where you're going. How will you get there? The hanged man. Taking a step back. Taking a step back. Seeking enlightenment. Observe how things are working in your life and around you. Mm, it's a humbling sort of feeling, which is good. And finally, the um, last card, final advice, two of pentacles. Yeah, what are your priorities? What are you working towards? Um, you can have it all. I think that you can, but there's a process and there's, um, it's definitely not an easy time. There, there, I will say there are, there are challenges, um, but there's also an opportunity for grounding here. I think there is a call to be more grounded a bit. Um, with so many swords, um, it feels sort of slippery, as in, um, watch what you say. Say what you mean and mean what you say and ground yourself and make sure that you are giving and investing in those relationships that feel like reciprocal and who feel like under that feel understanding. I think that's going to be your major, not only your major support system through your transition, right? And the collective transition. It's also going to help you stay in a positive state of mind as you work through some subconscious blocks um, and while you know we're deep in thought here because that's how I feel I feel deep sort of like I want to get lost in my thoughts and I'm stopping myself from from starting too many tangents because I already had a few here I don't want to make the videos too much longer than they are so I will leave it here do some grounding for yourself oh by the way and here's the um, by the way, here is that journal prompt one more time. I'll put it down below as well. When do I feel my best? What am I wearing? What am I doing? Create that day for yourself as soon as possible. All right. Thanks for watching, friends. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.